So I wanted to take some time and talk about, I know we're really excited about the new catalog that's coming, but um, I went through my stamps last weekend and pulled out all my retired stamps and was very, very sad on some of them. So I think uh, what I'm going to do for the next couple weeks um, is show some of my favorites. And tonight it looks like I'm going to go through four of them. And um, I want to show you a technique if you're not familiar with it. It's making grunge backgrounds. And two of my very favorite stamp sets to do this with happen to be on the retired list. So um, I was not happy to see that. And those of you that come to my sale, I'm pretty sure these are not going to be on my sale because I am going to hoard these. <laughs> they are my favorite and I'm going to explain why. So you'll notice, um, yes, this is how long I've had them. They are wood mount. And these are the two stamp sets that I'm talking about. So Gallery Grunge and um, Artisan Textures. Now, when you look at these, yeah, you got to be pretty uh, open to doing some crazy things with these. Um, what I like about these is these are my go-to stamps if I if I screw up a card. The, <laughs> you know, you know, you get ink on your finger, you touch your card, it's all done, it's all put together, and you're like, now what do I do? These are the ones that I go to and I look for this um, image. Sometimes I use this one, this one, and you can kind of dirty up the background and people never know you had a boo-boo. Well, tonight we are going to create a whole entire background based on these stamp sets. Um, and I've got three of them to show you. And I'm actually stamping tonight. So I'm going to show you my favorite because when I do grungy backgrounds, I tend to stick to earth tones. And tonight we're going to be doing browns. But we're also going to be using these two stamp sets. So this one, this one you'll know is in the holiday or I'm sorry, not the holiday, but the occasions catalog. And I've used it quite a bit and I absolutely love it. This is, um, both of these are actually made, um, were designed by Million Dollar Achievers. So you'll notice I've talked about this little emblem before. And I love it because A, this witty, witty um was created, oh my goodness, let, let me think now. I might have to pull it out. Yep, because I'm totally, I think it's, well, no, I'm not even going to guess. Hang on. Because um, it's somebody I know, and the, the, the name I'm is on my lip is not, I know it's not right. So let me look here. Ashley, when is my, that's an excellent question. I usually do it in June. Um... I was right. Oh yeah, it is. So it's Lisa Fast was the one that created it. And Lisa used to be from Sioux Falls. So it was pretty cool that someone was close. And then this one, oh God, I, I'm having bad times with names today. I can see your face and not, I'll have to, I'll see if it comes up. But these are, are both retiring and we're going to use both of these tonight as well. So my sale, Ashley, is usually in June, and what I do is all my retired stuff, um, whatever you spend at the sale, you get a coupon to spend um, the following month in the new catalog. So if you come and spend $100, you get a $50 rebate uh, to use on the new catalog. With what's going on with the virus, I don't know if that's going to happen yet. And um, with us moving, <laughs> I don't know, um, we'll still be around, but I definitely will keep you in the loop as soon as I can have it. I know it won't be any time before June 3rd, but I will publish information on that because you guys usually go crazy during that sale. <laughs> so more information to follow, but I'm going to show you the card that we're going to, this is one of the cards that we're going to talk about. And I actually used, this is going to be Enjoy Life. And this one is going to be the artisan textures, okay? But what I want to do is show you this grungy background. I that's I, I call it grungy background. And I like it because it can be anything you want it to be, okay? And you'll notice that I'm, you know, I might aim at what I did here because I really liked the layout. But I liked this because I, I don't know about you, but I struggle with the masculine cards, okay? 
So to me, this I could send this to a girlfriend easily, um, but this is a good masculine card. And this background is, I'm going to morph it into many things. So that's what I want to show you tonight and some tricks on how to do this. So let's get busy. All right, so we're going to get the handy dandy mat. I am going to be stamping tonight. This is Sahara Sand. I like it because it's not really crisp and clean like vanilla and white, but it's going to let me do some really crazy backgrounds, okay? Inks that I'm gonna be using are gonna be basic gray, gray granite, soft suede, and early espresso. Now, when I make grunge backgrounds, I typically start with the lighter color ink. So I'm gonna just set these aside for now so I can show you these these gray ones, because there's a reason. So if you look at these, this is going to be the lightest. This one I know is something that I'm gonna come in and fill in for coloring. So I'm gonna put this one aside because it's not gonna give me a lot of printed images like you can see here, okay? So I'm gonna put that aside because that's gonna be one of my finishing inks. So now when I look at what's left, really soft suede is going to be my lightest, okay? Kind of show you the method to the madness, right? So we're going to start with soft suede. And we're going to get, I just, oh, you guys, this is, these are so fun to play with. As you see, they're very dirty. They get lots of love. And what I'm going to start with is the most bold image just to kind of lay a, a foundation. So I'm going to start with this one with my lighter of these shades, okay? Now, if you're tricky like me, I can see that's pretty dark on there, and I don't know what it's going to look like. So what is cool, I mean, I, I want to uh, go in a vertical on this one too. So what I typically do is I'm going to start, and I'm going to see how dark this really is, okay? Because as you see, it's very, very dark. So if I don't really care for that, guess what? I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to stamp on this side because now I'm going to see when I start, which one do I want to start with, right? Because no one's going to know what's underneath. And I like this one. Eh, let's see here. Yeah, see, I kind of like the lighter of these. So I'm going to stick with this side for now. So now I'm going to ink a little bit more up. And now, since I'm going to keep this side, I'm going to keep working this as my scratch. Now I could have a scratch piece over here and work it that way, but not, I don't need to. I'm going to use the back. And I like that it's light, but I want to go a little bit darker than that. So I'm barely going to touch the back just to get a little bit off. And then I'm going to come over here and do one more. Kind of, yeah, I want to be over here. Yeah, good. So I got two tones of that same color. Okay, and I think for right now, I want to, I am actually, well, just put it over here for now, just so I know which I'm working on. So hang tight, I'm gonna get this clean. I like to clean as I go. Kind of anal. Okay, so now the next piece, I'm gonna go to my next lightest, which is going to be basic gray. And this is where I'm going to just kind of start filling in on my images. So my next one's going to be either this or that. I think I'm going to start with the bigger one, which is this one. And now when you're not sure, I always use the side first so we can see what it's going to look like. And actually full strength is pretty good. So I'm going to come over here and then don't be afraid to not add ink, right? Because grunge is to get crazy. I love the polka dot ones, can you tell? And I like that, I think I'm okay with that. Okay, and now I think I wanna add a little bit of the second image. And again, I'm always checking because I wanna make sure you can't take it off, so you might as well check it. I'm gonna come over here and a little bit more. Oh, yep, I'm liking it. Now I'm gonna get crazy and come over here. 
And sometimes I want full on ink, so I'm gonna come back and do that. I'm liking that. Okay. And so this one, I feel like I'm done with this gray because I did a lot of it on there because I wanna bring out some of those browns. So now the next pieces I'm gonna do are gonna be what they call these accent pieces. So these are a little bit more full on images. Let me show you here. And I'm now I'm to my darkest ink. So now I'm gonna start adding on these really prominent pieces. Okay, and I always like to go in odds. So I got five of that one. That's good. And then I'm this one's my favorite. It looks like little, like pebbly. And that's why I have that pad underneath. It's helping me have a really nice, good stamped image. And um, it's also protecting my table. Yes, I'm liking that. So now, to give it that really kind of dirty look is I'm gonna come with my lightest ink, which is go, uh, gray granite, okay? And I'm gonna find my gray granite, there it is. This, I love this, cause I can see and then I'm, yeah, I'm anal. So I take a, a um, label maker and so I know which color is which, cause sometimes I can't guess. So now I'm gonna take this gray and I'm gonna just dirty up my card. Okay. And I if you don't have gray granite, oh, it is one of my favorite neutrals. It's a brown gray, which makes it really awesome. And I'm sorry, I know I'm shaking the table because I'm rubbing it on here. So the camera I'm sure is, that's one of the things in my new room I'm gonna mount it somehow to the wall so when I'm screwing around on the table, you guys aren't getting sick <laughs> when I'm playing. I'm so excited. I We met with our builder today and I think he found me a four foot barn door for my craft closet. I'm totally stoked about that. <laughs> Michael gets a big garage and I get a big craft room. The um, subcontractor we were dealing with today said, what are you doing with that room above the garage? And I'm like, that's my craft room. <laughs> He's like, that room is huge. I'm like, that's the way it's supposed to be, right? So yeah, I'm happy with that. And I love it because it's just, it's a grungy, dirty background. And it makes the coolest card so I'm gonna put this one on here see so you, all you have to do is mount that and if you notice on the card that I showed you earlier I went with an espresso um, mat behind that just to make those other ones pop but same concept and then I grabbed my little biker made a little tag very easy cool yeah. let me show you a couple other versions of this which one I would they or something similar. Um, I have not, I, it, it pains me to say this Twyla, but I looked through the catalog and I didn't see anything that is gonna be similar to either one of these. So these are still available. I, I highly recommend getting one if not both um, because they are, they're just, they're good staple stamp sets. So I wanna show you this one. So here is one that I did with using both gallery grunge and the artisan texture. And so this one I used Balmy Blue, So Saffron, Coastal Cabana, and Blushing Bride. So this is, you can see that big wood piece. I started with the blushing and kind of filled it in as I went. Um, the polka dots I do believe were Balmy Blue. And then I had these little, look at this one. Let me hold this up there. It's kind of like a nice, um, just a really good check print. But this is why I bought it, because I loved this piece. Ah, they're so cool. Um, but this one I wanted to show you could be easily, I wanted to show the background first, but look at here. How cute is that? 
little baby card. So that's using the baby stamp set out of Witticism. And then you know these. I, I don't I forgot to check to see if those are still available. It's in this um, art kit that was dirt cheap um, on the retired list. I don't know if it's still available, but those are the little pieces. But how cute is that for a baby card? Okay, and I like using colors, especially I, I swear I, I never have a baby card matching the boy or girl. So I like to have ones that have pink and blue and yellow in them. So you could um, have this and it would work for any sex, okay? But I also wanna show you that that background can be for adults too. So this is using that other set, just putting the silhouette on here. And this, you guys, this is, I wanna hold this so you can read it. That stamp set, I literally bought just to get these. I love this verse. Awesome. So this is using that same background, flipping it. So I did the wood this way, but using it um, to get an adult version of it. But this one, I, I this you know, you can see the full one. This was my favorite. Okay. And it's going to lead me into the next project that I'm going to talk about. So this one was, of course... Do we all know what yellow this is? You know I'm sad about this. This is Pineapple Punch. So this one I did um, with Pineapple, pu pineapple Punch, <laughs> Coastal, um, no, what am I saying? Calypso Coral. And then I used um, Mel Mango Melody and then Granny Apple Green. Cause I just, I wanted a really bright pattern and it just, it popped. And then what I loved is when I went to check on my kit, I didn't realize I was using the colors that were in that kit. So this is taking, if you remember that kit, it came with um, paper clips and these felt pieces. So the felt piece I just glued to my paper clip, let it dry overnight, and then I put it on here. But who loves this right here? Sending love and paper hugs. And this leads me to my next uh, show and tell because I was so excited <laughs> to see this. So if you did not see on my site earlier this week, we um, got our first digital stamp set. And what that means is you have to download it and print it on paper, okay? But I wanted to show you all the images because you don't get to see them and that's on purpose. You know, be they, they wanna be able to um, keep it a surprise, but I can't keep a surprise. So I wanna show you them just so you can see all that you get. Um, so this is a fundraiser that Stamp It Up is doing for COVID-19. And all of the proceeds for this um, digital stamp set are going to be donated. So this is a $12 download. And um, I, to me, it was well worth it. And I'm gonna show you, oh, I got a handful of cards made with what I see here. But what I love, it's gonna tell you how to do it, you can print. It's gonna tell you the coordinating Stamp It Up colors and then also what products you can use. So what size punches work best, what dyes work best. Um, they really went above and beyond. And then once you buy the download, it's yours to use for whatever you want. Okay, are you ready? They are awesome, you guys, and get ready to laugh. Look it, I totally share my paper with you. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Let's just roll it, roll with it, wash your hands, but look at, see, so you get black and you get color. You don't have to worry about sizing. They've done that all for you. This, I love this one. <laughs> no saliva was used on this envelope. How about this one? Sending love, and if I could, toilet paper. <laughs> just feeling the need to reach out and it should be hug someone, but send a card to someone. I can't wait to social undistance with you. But I'm gonna go, go through these. I won't read them all, but I'm gonna let you see, you get a lot. So what I did is just print these on cardstock and I punched them and cut them. Look at here, things I missed touching my face and you. <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple in here. Mom tried to steal cards, I see she's online. I was showing her some today, she stopped by and she was trying to steal them. <laughs> what a year this week. Who can relate to this? What a year this week has been. Love them. Stay home, stay safe. 
just really good ones. Okay. Look at business on the top, PJs on the bottom. <laughs> so I finished Netflix. Those of you that know, that is hilarious. I've just been working on my home body. Yep, totally. Uh-huh. Look at this one. I changed out of my night PJs into my day PJs to send you this card. Right? <laughs> Missing you. Hoping that by staying home, more things change than my pajamas. I love them because they're really pretty elegant fonts. And you start reading, it's the, and it's the bust out. Just die laughing. It's your birthday. Let's digitally party. Just breathe, but wear your mask. Oh my goodness. They are just a hoot. And like I said, I've got some cards to show you. Oh mother. <laughs> Look at, you know, that was my favorite stamp. I miss your face. Now we get it in a couple of different colors. But this one, this one, we need to tell Stamp It Up to make this into a permanent stamp. I love this one. And then to thank our healthcare workers. Tia's on tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Lots of different colors, like I was saying. There's no place like home for now. <laughs> this too shall pass. All right. We're almost, look at 15 pages. There's nobody I'd rather stay home for. Everything will be okay. We just can't see what okay looks like from here. I love Love, love these. And then look at, we got share um, sunshine on the bottom. This is Sarah, um, the CEO. She's trying to get people to share, share sunshine, but it's way cool. So again, this is for sale right now. You do not need to do it on my site, but I did post the link. As I said, we are not getting um, commission or we're not making anything on these so it doesn't matter if you pick me for a demonstrator just get out there and get the link are you ready to see cards they're cute all right here's my first one I changed out of my night PJs into my day PJs to send you this card I love this and look at here so if we tried to stamp this on our own do you see that it's three different shades of ink so they designed that for us so when you print it all I had to do was punch it out and of course I had to use that beautiful paper. <laughs> crackers, oh God, we're still talking about mom's crackers. Oh goodness. Sending love and paper hugs. Oh, I just love that one. Look at, I think this one, well, there's a couple, I love this one. But it's because I'm in loving this pattern. But doesn't it look pretty? It looks like it's gonna be a really elegant card and you read it and you bust out laughing. I love them. How about this? Sending joy and sunshine, not germs. <laughs> this is the one mom was laughing at though. Let's just roll with it. And I love the colors, it's a play on colors. Very cute. I'd totally share my toilet paper with you. <laughs> I just, they were so fun you guys. And if you notice, I used the same, I just used different pieces of paper on this just to kind of um, mix up some cards for you. And then of course, this is doing mixing them both together um, with a stamp technique. So hopefully you feel inspired